We have a name picked out. Every day we dance and life's been smiling. I'm delighted cause I got you. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel if it's the first time you've ever stopped by. I make lifestyle and mommy videos over here and I do weekly vlogs over on my vlogging channel which I will have linked below. I am joined today by my little guest Judah, my two-year-old son. His twin brother is currently napping and he refused today so he's playing at my feet while I film this week's pregnancy update. I am 27 weeks pregnant today. 27 weeks pregnant means I only have one more week left in the second trimester and then I'm in the home stretch. So I am very happy to say that I am fully recovered from that horrible stomach flu that I had last week. Um, in my last pregnancy update I told you guys all about that. It was awful. I lost eight pounds and I had only actually gained seven pounds for the whole pregnancy and so that wasn't good but I am so glad that I gained it all back and then some. So my stats and symptoms for this week. Where'd you go? I am measuring at 34 inches around the widest part of my tummy and I am so happy to say that when I stepped on the scale this morning I realized that I gained all of my weight back after being really sick and then some. So I am 125 pounds, which is a total of 10 pounds gained in the first and second trimesters put together. I am so happy about that. One of the biggest goals of this second trimester was to maintain my weight and to continue to gain weight. My doctor at the beginning of the trimester was just a little concerned that I wasn't gaining enough weight and so I've made it a point and everything that stood in my way like stressful holiday season a huge we moved <laughs> we sold our house and moved into a new one which was crazy and then getting horribly sick everything stood in my way but my body knows best and it gained the weight back and a lot of that was water weight so I'm feeling very hydrated, very plump and healthy and I couldn't be happier about that. No new symptoms this week. I have yet to receive my papaya enzymes. They just got ordered off of Amazon. They are on their way. I am going to start taking those to see if that helps with the heartburn. I have been enjoying using that pregnancy pillow that Weston got me for Christmas and I'm, you know, just coming up with different ways to use it and to uh, help myself get comfortable at night and relieve some pressure on my back and hips and it's been actually working really well. Let's see how the baby is developing. Um, it's saying that she is the size of a head of romaine lettuce. So 14 and a half inches long, just under two pounds. It's saying 1.95 pounds and that just seems so big to me. I can't believe she's getting so big in there. My bump app is telling me that baby is practicing inhaling and exhaling, and um, that is the amniotic fluid. So obviously they're not breathing air in there, but they are inhaling and exhaling amniotic fluid, which is really cool. And it says, it's official, baby's showing brain activity, and the brain will keep on getting more complex. So exciting to see week to week the different things that start to develop and finish developing and that sort of a thing. So the number one question that we get all the time, every video we upload over on the vlogging channel, every pregnancy update that I do, we get the question, what is baby girl's name? Are you going to be revealing her name? Do you have any name ideas that you can share with us? And Weston and I have prayed about it, we've talked it over, and we've come up with her name. And we are super excited about that. And we've also decided that just like we did with the boys, we are actually going to be waiting until she is born to announce her name to the world. Just sort of as her official introduction into the world, we want to keep her name a secret until then. And we're really, really excited about that decision. We were so glad that we made that decision when it came to when the boys were born. We were open to the idea of doing sort of a name reveal video um, for this baby, but we are just still feeling like keeping that just between us and between our close family and closest friends is gonna be the best idea just for us. That's how we are feeling. We're really excited about it. And along with her name reveal when she's born, we are also going to be doing a nursery reveal because part of her name, and I don't want to give it away too much, but part of her name actually ties into the theme of her nursery. I actually, like, I feel emotional 
just even ha thinking about that and, and planning for it because it's something so very special to me and um, I just can't wait to share that with you guys but it is something that we do want to keep as a surprise until she's here and it's only 13 weeks until my due date. That is what we have decided as far as her name reveal goes. We feel super excited about it and hope you guys do too. But between now and then, I will be sharing a video like top 10 baby names I love but won't be using. I am now prepared to be able to share that with you um, because we have her name now. And um, there are some great baby names out there. We went back and forth on several of them. And uh, some of my favorites are ones that I still would love to uh, shed light on and uh, share with you guys. So be looking out soon for my top 10 baby names I love but won't be using video. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you have the channel notifications turned on so that you get notified when I post that video as well as my pregnancy updates and other lifestyle videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, comment. What are you experiencing if you are in the same week of pregnancy as I am? If you're 27 weeks pregnant, what have your symptoms been? I'm always curious to see what the symptoms of the other gals in this week of pregnancy have been and compare and contrast and see if you guys experience the same things I do. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to